Welcome to the Behind the Boards video on volume, fades, and automation. Uh, we're going to take what we have here and make something really cool with it, uh, just with the stuff that we've already learned. So uh, this should be a fun one for everybody. Uh, we start out with only one guitar being actually voiced. We see the volume on the rhythm guitar is at zero, and the volume on the lead and our pick slide are at negative infinity. Uh, so here's what we have so far, it's just this one guitar. All right, so maybe we want that to swell into the song so that it starts low, gets louder and louder until the song kicks in. Uh, so we heard one big whole note at the beginning, that's this. And then we heard the song start, which happened right here. So let's do a fade here. Let's cut out what's before this. We'll click where we want to zoom, and then we'll zoom in using T. Uh, we'll highlight right before here, and press the delete button. And we're going to zoom back out using R. We don't need any of this, so we could go ahead and highlight all of it and delete it. And now we're going to make that big fade I was talking about. We'll start it from the beginning, and we'll go to right where the song starts. You might even want to be in grid mode for this. You click into your grid mode, and get your grids into quarter notes and give this a shot. We'll start before it and we'll end right on that downbeat. Uh, so Command F will bring up our fade menu. I want you to come down to this area in the bottom left and change this curve to be this very drastic curve down here. Uh, this curve is going to start super low and get louder and louder and then quickly get louder at the end. So that'll be really in your face. So that's what we want to start with. Let's see what that sounds like. Great. Okay, so that's how we'll start this song. Um, now the next thing I want to do is I want to make this go from left to right in my speakers so I don't just hear it on one side the whole time. So let's start out in our pan area with this all the way to the left. Now we can hear that it's on the left. Let's go to where it says waveform right here and we're going to go down to pan. Okay, this line on the top is the pan line. I know it seems a little strange up there. We're going to go to our grabber tool so I can really show you what we're talking about. This line up here is the pan line. So we'll click it, and when I click it, it gives me one little point in it where I can move it. So I want to go from left to right. So all the way at the top is left, all the way on the bottom is right. So let's grab that and move it down. So we're starting all the way to the left ending all the way to the right, but we're wasting a little bit of our pan on an area that has no audio. So let's not do that. Let's grab right here, pick it all the way up. Now we'll just have a little area where it goes left to right in our speakers. Let's take a listen. Very cool. So I might want to do um, another pan using this other instrument here, this pick slide over here. So let's pick that guy and bring up our volume, hear what it sounds like, and up to that zero like the other one. Or maybe not to zero, that's really loud, so let's bring that down a little bit so we get a calmer volume, a little more like the other one. Cool, very cool. Um, and let's do the opposite. We'll start at the right, and we'll go to the left, go into waveform, Pan, getting our hand tool, the grabber tool, and we'll make one point at the end and pull it all the way to the left. And like last time, we're wasting a lot of space, so let's start this a little later. So this pan's going to happen real fast now. Let's take a listen. Very cool. Uh, now let's say we're not happy with that. We want those pans to move more. We want it to move throughout our speakers more. Uh, we can make a quick move and adjust both pans. If, as many times as we want to just click this, we can move this more and more and more and more. So let's have this go back and forth really fast at us. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Make another one here. Another one here. 
So what you're seeing now is starting all the way to the right, going all the way to the left and back all the way to the right in a matter of a second. Take a listen to that. All right, so our beginning is getting kind of cool now. Uh, what we are missing now is we have two instruments, it starts to get really loud, and then it kicks off to nothing. Luckily we have this third guitar, this lead guitar here. We'll bring that up, take a listen. And if you're not sure specifically which one that is, just press your solo. And that's the lead guitar. All right. So the only thing I would say we have a balance problem as we get to where the lead guitar comes in because we're panned all the way to the left on the rhythm and our lead is right up the middle so the right speaker is going to have nothing on it and that's not what we want. So let's get this pen all the way to the right. Now that kicks in a lot harder. A uh, few things I want you guys to notice about this now. <clears throat> After you automate a pen you don't have full control just by using this right here, this, this little pan window, uh, the pan indicator, because what happened is this is programmed to happen. So right after that, if I wanted to move this all the way to the right, it'll say that it did that, but watch, watch when I hit play, it's gonna go right back to where it was. <clears throat> all right, so once you play with automations like this, you're kind of stuck there. Uh, the only way around that is if we make another track that'll just be our pan guitar track show you what that looks like. So we'll make ourselves a new track by going to track, new, and we'll create one mono audio track in samples, click create. We'll label it by double clicking where it says audio one. We'll call that pan guitar. Now let's make that bigger because it's so much smaller than the rest of them. Let's go to the bottom, you see that, we'll stretch it right out, make it about the same size. All right, so we can only work on the pans while we're in this pan window. Here's pan view that we're looking at. Let's go back to the waveform view so we can actually move the file. Um, we know that this is what we panned right here. So what I want to do is copy that down. And we'll copy that down. Uh, all we're going to do is press Command C, and then we're going to press the a button under the letter P. It's a semicolon button. What happens when you press that button is you jump track to track. And then we're going to press Command V. And now we have what was on the other track. And let's go back to the other track and just get rid of it. So we're going to have two things doing the same thing. So press the P button again, bring it right back up, and press Delete. And that's gone. All right, so we don't have a fade on this. The fade didn't copy down. Let's put the fade in. Uh, we could be in slip mode now because we want the fade to go right up to the edge but not to cover the edge. Um, Command F to get our fade. Uh, let's change it this time. Let's use one that comes up at a way more straight angle just so you can hear the difference. And let's see if our pan automation came down with that. Go to this area, go down to pan. Perfect. Our pan information did come with it. That's great. Okay, so let's copy that over. Let's take a listen. All right, very cool. We have a very cool intro to this song now. Uh, so we went over the fade. We went over the pan. Uh, we went over how to automate the pan. Uh, the fades you're going to get used to as you go through this because a lot of them are used for different areas. You just heard two different fades and they're drastically different as we try to enter this song. Uh, so use your ears and do what you think is right, but here's a fun little way of using your pans and your fades to make you sound like you know what you're doing uh, two days into this program. So uh, let's start with this, start impressing some people and come back for the next one.